Okay, this demonstration is going to be about graphing what I call a sideways parabola, a parabola that opens up to the left or that opens up to the right along the x-axis. Now, what's the clue that that's going to happen? Well, you'll notice that this is a regular quadratic equation, except that I've replaced, or I should say I have uh, interchanged the x and the y. So instead of y is equal to 3x squared plus 3 4x plus 1, its x is equal to 3y squared plus 4y plus 1. So that's your clue that your parabola is going to open up sideways. So how do we do that? What do we need to do for to, to make this graphing a quick sketch of this happen? Now, normally you want to be able to locate the vertex, and you want to be able to loc locate the x-intercept. You can also find out where it um, <clears throat> where your parabola will cross the y-axis, except I'm not going to demonstrate that in this particular video. Okay, we're just going to find the vertex and the x-intercept. What do we do? To find the vertex, we're going to use the formula that we had for the standard form with the regular parabola. We're going to use negative b over 2a. Except for find, instead of finding the x value, this is going to find our y value in the vertex. So remember the x, y in the vertex. So let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. We're going to get negative b, which in this case is a negative 4, over 2 times 3, which gives me negative 4 over 6, or just a negative 2 thirds. So that again, remember, that's my y value in my vertex. I'm going to take that value, and I'm going to plug it back into the equation. Now, again, that's called like composing functions, but we're just going to go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and replace the y. Wherever I see y, I'm going to put in a negative 2 thirds plus 4 times negative 2 thirds plus 1. Okay, so I've replaced all the y's now with a negative 2 thirds. Now I can go ahead and calculate what that's equal to. So let's try that. That's going to be 3 times negative 2 thirds squared is a positive 4 ninths. 4 times a negative 2 thirds is a negative 8 thirds. And 1 is just 1. Continuing on. 3 times 4 ninths is 12 ninths, plus a negative 8 thirds, plus a 1. Notice that I can reduce this. I can reduce it to 4 thirds, so let me go ahead and do that. And then bring the rest of it down. Now I want to add these together to find my x. Okay, so 1 is really just the same thing as saying 3 over 3. So when I add this, it's going to be 4 thirds minus 8 thirds, which is a negative 4 thirds, plus 3 thirds gives me a negative 1 third. Okay, so that's going to be my x value. My vertex for this particular problem, parabola, is going to be a negative one-third x, negative two-thirds y. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick sketch over to the side here. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to have, so, a negative one-third along the x, a negative two-thirds along the y. Let's just assume that it's right there negative one-third, negative two-third. Again, it doesn't make any difference where that is exactly proportion-wise as long as I label it correctly, okay? Now I'm going to go back to my problem and find out where it crosses not the y-axis this time, but where it crosses the x-axis. And notice that it crosses the x-axis at the same place as it does if it was in the standard equation. It's, it's, it crosses it at the c, and then the c in this case, it's a positive one. So down here I'm going to write the x-intercept is equal to the c or z uh, 1, 0. Okay, so so far, let me see where that is. 
one zero we can place right about there and there is my X intercept so now when I sketch I'm going to open to the positive direction because my a value again is a positive 3 and there is my graph okay I hope that was helpful to you um, that's my X intercept that's my vertex okay I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to use the distance equation and the midpoint equation in the next example